Hi guys! So for today's video, I'm gonna try and attempt to make a Mega Man bag. So let's get started! So you will need uh, some macrame cord. What I have here is a thicker uh, leftover macrame cord. I have a thinner macrame cord which I'll be using to make the handles. Next, you will need something for your handle. What I'm using is a pair of hoop earrings. You also need a measuring tape and a pair of scissors. The first thing I'm going to do is organize the cords. The way I'm doing this is by just wounding the cords like I would to a ball of yarn. Now, to start making the back, uh, you will need to make the handle first. So here I'm taking my hoop earring and wounding the thin, thinner cord around the hoop earring. Make sure that as you do this, there is no gap in between the cords. Take the last two ends and secure it with a knot. Here comes the sun. Thing you're gonna do is take your bigger cord or the main cord that you're using for your bag and to and cut them into equal lengths now what you have to remember here is if you want a longer bag you will need to cut a longer piece uh, since i'm doing a smaller and a shorter bag i'm just cutting a 60 inch of a cord now you take a piece of cord like this and loop it round the handle Follow me as I make my square loop. This is one square knot and make another square knot If you've mastered the square knot then the rest of this make, uh, bag making process is going to be a piece of cake because it's just the same square knot over and over again. So here I'm just making two square knots on each set. Once you find that you have created a pattern, continue to do so, leaving the last two pieces of cord on both sides free because you're going to be using that to attach uh, the second handle. Take your two handles, place them side by side, and start knotting them together. So, 
in order to bring the back together or uh, and to tie up the ends what I'm doing is uh, taking one front set of cord and one back set of cord and taking the two uh, ends of each set and creating one square knot after I make uh, my square knot I'm using the other two piece of the front cord and making another square knot with the adjacent two piece at the same time keeping in mind uh, that both the front and the back of the back are symmetrical Now your back is done, just some final uh, touches to be made. Here I'm just taking my scissor and I'm trying my best to uh, cut the ends of the cord in uh, equal length. If you're okay with this look, you can just leave the back as a bud. I wanted to do something uh, even more. So I started it. Um, Unraveling the cord pieces After unraveling the ends, I'm just taking a comb and brushing through to get rid of any tangles For a cleaner finish, I'm just taking uh, the two pieces of cord and tying a knot it and that is done wanna get a thing thank you for watching i think she remember so like a sapone i'm gonna let you in you gonna feel on it i'm gonna let you in i got five on it go through the city on some big shit